Hi, my name is Jake, and my new haircut dictates that I drink White Claw and wear sandals indoors. But aside from that, I have a GameCube with the newly released GC loader. Uh, I'm not going to go over it too in depth. I'm sure, I'm sure uh, Modern Vintage Gamer will probably go over one pretty in depth in the next few weeks or so. I just want to introduce you and show you what it is and what it does. It's by uh, Dan's Project. I managed to score one from the first batch. Uh, he released. It sold out in about four or five minutes. Um, this is the thing right here. It is an optical drive replacement that you use SD card with. This is the top of the GC loader. It actually adheres to the chassis. You take the DVD drive off and you solder this under the DVD contact points. Or the, I keep saying DVD, it's the disk drive. Um, I'm not going to go into that. Uh, Dan's projects, Dan made his own uh, video on how to do that, so I'm not going to cover that. But you pop everything onto an SD card. Uh, you have to have, while you use Swiss, uh, they recommend it. You have to rename it boot.iso on the root file, pop it in there, and then you can put anything else that'll run on a GameCube.dols or games or backups or whatever you want on that and just power it up. And I will show you what it does. Um, as far as we know right now, the actual there's a button here, doesn't do anything. There's dip switches here, there's four of them. They have a plastic over them, so not to mess with them. Um, there might be some updates later where you can mess with the button and it would have a function, um, or maybe the dip switches. I think that's mainly for programming. This is my wonderful Samsung CRT television. Now because there are a lot of skeptics out there for anything you do ever, there's always people who say, oh, that's not real, I don't believe you. I'm going to use the D-pad here to show you that, yes, I am controlling that thing. So it boots up. Down, down, down. Now boot.iso is whatever, whatever you're using to boot it. And we've got Swiss here. Tells you the version. Um, this is the current date, which is a little off. And the GC loader, it'll tell you the device you've got here. So press B. Of that DVD, which is not attached anymore, system, and it does support the SP to SD2, uh, which we have here. SD2 SP2 is what it is. Um, I couldn't get this to actually read properly in this GameCube, but the the slot on the bottom of my GameCube is very loose. I don't know what. If I ruined it before me did to it, because there's nothing else to plug into it. I was just messing around with it somehow, but even the case or the shell on this thing is all screwed up. So you can select whatever you want and we're G seal it right now. Oh there we go. Reload it. Uh, we've got apps. A bunch of random stuff. Uh, how do we go back? There we go. Now there the firmware, there's a new one. It ships with 0.90. Um, the next batch might ship with 0.10, uh, but you can go in and load these and it will ask if you want to flash. It'll tell you what the current version is and if you want to flash to whichever one. You can even uh, flash backwards. I've done it. So I have this one right now. I flash back to that and I flash back. It'll let you. I just don't want to do that right now. Ah, keep pressing B for back and that's not what you do. You gotta go back up here to go back. Okay, and I'll show you. I've got the Nintendo Service Disk. Um, ISO right there, AA, and this is the first thing that I did, well the first app that I ran when I uh, installed this thing, is just to make sure all of my, uh, all my stuff in the GameCube itself was working. It goes through and over flashes and whatnot, but that's not important. This is just to show you that it is in fact working, and you can't really get back on out of this. So I'm going to turn it off, turn it back on, and the load time is actually pretty amazing. If you hold A, it'll swivel around, go up, and there's your Swiss for start. So there you go, that is the GC loader, the thing we've all been waiting for for a very, very long time, an optical drive emulator for for the GameCube. So I'm very happy that this was released. And thank you to everybody, especially Dan, 
on Dan's projects, which is where you can get this. Like the video if you like the video. Subscribe to see more of my ramblings. And press thumbs down if I suck. Thank you, please.